Welcome to another episode of the Mostly Mike Show. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review of the Link Micro 7 inch digital microscope. I'll point out some of its bold features, then demonstrate by looking at a few random objects. I'll include my Amazon store link in the description. Clicking on the link really helps this channel out, even if you don't buy a microscope. Full disclosure, Link Micro sent me this microscope for free in exchange for making this review video. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time with the assembly process. There's a well-illustrated, detailed one-page instruction showing you everything that you need to know about assembling this microscope. Here's the express assembly in hyperlapse. There's an aluminum base with optional spring-loaded hold-down clips and two gooseneck lights which are dimmable using the little pendant control. The pendant control has three cables attached. One goes to the included wall adapter. There's a right angle micro USB cable that goes to the top back side of the monitor. And there's a cable with a round end which supplies power to the gooseneck lights or the lighted base for viewing slides, but you can't use them both at the same time. You have to choose. There's an included 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which goes on the flat plane surface on the back side of the monitor. Just my opinion though, but this thing is a little frustrating to remove. The part that catches your fingernail to remove the card is on the side close to the wall, so sometimes it's a little hard to pull out. You know, the micro SD card. There's three different lenses and a plastic box to store the ones you're not using. If you're working on watches or soldering, you'll probably want to use the 90 to 300 millimeter lens, which would be lens L, or as they say in Mexico, LL lens. Lens A, I suppose as they say in Canada, A, eh, is 12 to 320 millimeter, and it's a good lens for looking at coins. This lens will give you a decently wide angle to get your entire subject on the screen. Lens D is the most powerful lens, but only has a focal length of 4 to 5 millimeters. You'll likely need to use the lighted base with this lens and put your subject on a slide. The blank slides are not included in this kit. I'll demonstrate the lens later looking at some microorganisms in some pond water. We're gonna have us a party! To swap out the lenses, just remove the two screws while holding the lens so it doesn't drop. Then carefully put in the lens of your choice with the label facing out. There's a groove for orientation which you'll feel as soon as you slide it in. You know, the lens. To take your experience to the next level, you'll need a monitor with an HDMI input or your television. Simply take the included HDMI cable and plug in the micro HDMI into the back of your monitor and connect the other end to your monitor or television, as shown. There's a wireless remote that you can control things such as the camera, brightness of the picture, sharpness, and other things. I noticed that the remote has to be pointed directly at the monitor and relatively close in proximity for it to work. There are many options in the menus for changing the quality or even the color of your picture. There's even options to put crosshairs or grid lines over the screen for those that like to swing that way. I won't judge. There's a rack and pinion on the column for more precise up and down movements on the head, an in and out adjustment, and to focus there's a large vertical knob in the middle just above the lens. I was going to view many different items for the test, but let's be real, it's a microscope. It views things up close, so we all know what they do. Therefore, in the interest of not making this video last forever, I'll just do one or two items with each individual lens, and so be it. I'll point out any issues or things I like or don't like as I encounter them. The first lens we're going to test is the 90-300mm, or the L lens, which is the one you can view things from the furthest away. This extra space gives you an advantage to work on things where you need to see up close, such as soldering and watch repairs. All right, so we have the 90 to 300 millimeter lens in here, and we're viewing a penny, which looks pretty darn good. Using the remote, we can go in another three times with the zoom. So this would be maximum with the 90 to 300 millimeter looking at a penny. You can see it gets kind of grainy with the digital zoom, but it's still not bad for looking at the real intricate details or if you're looking for defects in a, in a coin from like a collector's standpoint. So, like taking it back out, as you can see it, see so you have to point this directly at the screen, like from about a foot, maybe a foot and a half away uh, to get the best results. Otherwise, it's going to be hit and miss with the remote. I don't know, that doesn't look too bad. Let's 
and, and something else I noticed is the penny is actually upside down uh, in relation, like to get this right side up, you have to put it where this is actually facing that way. As you can see, when you're focusing every little movement, like when you just touch the monitor, you can see there's a lot of flex. I mean, it's, it's sensitive to your motion. The next test was using the 12 to 320 millimeter lens, which would be the A lens. I'm using trial and error to find the sweet spot to get the coin in frame, then focusing. This one you have the most leeway with. There's a pretty clear picture of it. Let me zoom that in a little bit. Now I'm going to take the digital zoom, get it a little bit more centered. Pretty nice picture. Now, you can take the gooseneck, you can kind of create shadows on the grooves to give it a little bit more definition. And that's all personal taste where that falls in. That's looking pretty good. I was showing you the, the details. Finally, I'm putting the D lens on, which unlocks the Link Micro's most powerful features, at least from a magnification standpoint. I'm using a pipette to take up the pond water sample and we're going to see if the Link Micro is capable of seeing microorganisms in this pond water. So this is pond water. Very hard to stay focused on when you're going in this, this much magnification. You can see there's like really tiny things swimming in there that I'm not even sure what they are. I'm no biologist. I would almost say that's a paramecium over there, but who knows. kinds of activity going on in there. Look that thing, I don't know what he is. Man, what the hell is that? They're like my little pets. There's two mystery risers in the lighted base, which I have some guesses what they're for, but I'll just keep those to myself. Anyway, they are the perfect height to gauge the lens height as a good starting point of 4 to 5 millimeters. My final thoughts on the Link Micro 7 inch color digital microscope is as follows. For the money, it doesn't seem bad. I was really impressed that it was able to see microorganisms in pond water. Quite honestly, that blew my mind. Sure, there was a little vignetting, green, and purple fringing, which I would expect in less expensive units like this one. I mean, for soldering and just seeing things up close, it's fine. If I was using the picks to enter into a photo contest, perhaps I'd get something better. The only thing that was sort of a pain, and this isn't the first microscope in this class that I encountered it, is that there's a ton of backlash in the focusing knob. It seems like I did get used to it after a few times, though. It's like you train yourself not to overshoot in whatever direction that you're turning it. You know, the focus knob. All in all, the Link Micro is the third microscope that I had sent to me for review, and I would say that I like it the most compared to the others. I would like to thank Link Micro in helping make this video happen. Could you do me a favor and smash that thumbs up or down button accordingly if you liked or didn't like the video? And consider subscribing if you did and you're new here. Thanks for watching this Mostly Mike Show presentation, and I'll see you next time.